What I'm about to show you is going to completely change the way Shopify stores are built. In this video, we'll take a product I found on AliExpress, copy and paste the product link into this new AI tool, and with just one click, generate a fully optimized Shopify store that's ready to sell our product. Then using the same AI tool, we'll generate high quality product photos to make our store look even more professional. And to maximize profits, we'll add a bundle offer to boost the average order value. And we're doing this all in just a few clicks. Now, I've tested a lot of AI store builders and I've never used any of them because to be honest, they were all pretty bad. But this tool I'm about to show you today is the first one in my opinion that actually works. It creates not just great looking stores, but stores that convert and actually make money. At the time of this recording, stores built with this tool have already generated over $5 million in sales, but no one is talking about it yet. This is your chance to get ahead, so pay close attention. It has truly never been this easy to launch a profitable Shopify store, which I'll prove to you by the end of this video. The first step is signing up for Shopify. In the description of this video, you'll find a special signup link. It's gonna get you a free trial and three months of Shopify for only a dollar per month, so be sure to use that link to save some money. Then simply enter your email address here and click on start free trial. Now, once you've signed up for Shopify, check the video description again and find the second link. This will be a link to our AI store builder app that we're gonna install onto our Shopify account. To install it, it's super easy. Just click on build my free store. And now you'll be brought back to Shopify. The app is called Atlas AI store builder and to install it, simply click on the install button right here. Let's do that real quick and we'll click install again to confirm this. And now Atlas will be installed as a Shopify app and we can begin generating our store. So the first step in generating our store is gonna be choosing our product source. As you can see here, we have a few different options to choose from. We've got AliExpress, Amazon, Alibaba, and Shopify. The Shopify option allows you to generate a store using existing Shopify products. So if you're using platforms like CJ Dropshipping, Zendrop, or AutoDS, just import your products into Shopify first, and Atlas can actually build a store around those too. In my case, for this video, I'll be using a product I found on AliExpress. I found these super cool slides, and I'll be generating my Shopify store based on this product. Now back over on Shopify, all I have to do to generate my store is just copy and paste the AliExpress product link here and click on Generate Store. Let's go ahead and do that here. And it's really as easy as that. Our store is now being generated. Here you can see there's a few different product photos that were imported from AliExpress. But if you don't like these photos, don't worry. Later on in the video, I'm gonna teach you how to generate high quality product photos that are gonna look so much better than these. So from here, you can choose the images that you'd like to import into your store. Or if we scroll down a little bit here, you can actually upload your own product images if you already have some handy. Once you're done here, let's click on continue. And now we can begin customizing and previewing our store. Here on the right hand side, if I scroll down, we can get a live look at our product page. We see our product photos, a customer review section, and we even have our product at a discount. Little details like this will start helping our store drive sales immediately. We see some features about our product listed here and arrives by date, and we even have real customer reviews. You can see that this one mentions the material of the shoes. And this is one of those things that makes this AI store builder stand out to me compared to others that I've tried out in the past. Like for example, if I open up the description tab here, we can see that the content written within it is actually handmade and custom to the product that I imported. And if we continue scrolling down the product page here, we can see that it's consistent across the entire store. This AI store builder pays attention to detail and actually builds an entire store that feels handmade. And with other AI store builders, I've noticed that you really don't get this level of detail. And in my opinion, if we publish this store right now, I truly believe that it would start driving sales immediately. But if there's anything that you want to change about your store, you can do so super easily here on the left-hand side. To start customizing your store, you can do so here in the color tab. There's some pre-made colors here for you to choose from, or you can dial in a specific branded look here as well. Next up, going to the product tab, you can configure details like the store name, your product title, or the price, along with all of the other information that you see here. Going back up, we can check out the reviews tab and configure our reviews. 
And we can do the same thing here within FAQs and we can configure some of the details within our home page. Once you're happy with the customizations that you've made, you can click on continue to move on to the next step. Let's go ahead and do that now. Now we'll need to go ahead and choose a plan. But before you do so, go to the discount code area here and type in the code MEDIX. Once you apply this, you'll get 20% off whichever plan you decide to go with. My personal recommendation is the pro plan because this gets you access to the bundler and AI product photos tool. These tools are well worth it. And in my opinion, the cost of the subscription is easily covered by the extra sales that these features will help bring in for your store. Once you've landed on a plan that you're gonna go with, let's click on subscribe at the bottom to move on to the next step. I'll click on approve here. And now the AI store builder is gonna go ahead and import our store to our Shopify account. Once that's done, we'll click on view your store. And now within our theme library on Shopify, you'll see a new theme appear. It should be named Atlas theme. Everything you did in the AI store builder will be transferred to this theme here. So to begin customizing it and making even more changes, we can click on publish. I'll click publish again to confirm this. And scrolling up, I'll click customize on the Atlas theme. Now, once we've entered our Atlas theme, the first thing I'll do before making any changes is go to the top right and enter mobile view, since that's how most people will be viewing our store anyways. Then the next thing you'll notice is that our store doesn't appear properly. But don't worry, you didn't do anything wrong. We just need to toggle on the AI Store Builder app. To do that, it's really easy. Just go to the left-hand side and click on App Embeds and then toggle on Atlas. Then back on the right-hand side, we'll see the store appear properly. Scrolling down, we can take a look at our homepage and make changes here if we'd like to. But for this video, we'll be focusing on the product page. To navigate there, go to the top and then click on products and then click on default product. Now within the AI store builder, we were able to make some changes to our product page, but here within Shopify's theme editor, we have even more control. Like for example, if you wanted to remove a section, you can do that simply by clicking the blue pop-up and then clicking the trash can icon. And then if you wanted to configure the reviews section, for example, you can click into it and then change the text here on the left-hand side. With this level of customization and control, you can really dial in this store and get it to look exactly how you want. Once you're happy with the changes that you've made, go to the top right and click on save before you leave. So now we have a branded Shopify store that's fully optimized for the product that we want to sell but we still have one big problem, and that's our product photos. In my opinion, these are not very professional, and I think that they'll cost us a lot of potential customers. To solve this problem, let's click on the exit button in the top left-hand side. Then we'll click on Atlas here within Apps. And then we'll click on AI product photos. Now over here on the right-hand side, you'll see that the AI store builder actually provides you with a video tutorial, which is super helpful. For now, we'll click on next to move on to the next step. Here are some training photo requirements that are important for you to keep in mind. Try to upload multiple images displaying different angles of your product. Upload at least two images of the product only. Always make sure that you remove all text and distracting background items. Try to keep a consistent image quality and product color. And they recommend uploading five to eight photos when you train your AI model. You can see some example images here of what you should and should not do. Once you collect all of the product images that you want to use to train your model, we'll click on next. Here we can see a couple more training photo examples. Try to follow all of the training photo requirements to ensure you're getting the best quality photos possible. We'll click on next to move on to the next step. This slide here details the training speed. In this video, we'll be going with the 30 minute training, but they recommend doing the three hour training for the best results. Click on next again. We'll learn more about the AI recommended prompt in a few moments. For now, click on next, and then click on train your AI model. Now we can start training our AI model by giving it a name. Your customer will never see this name, so you can name it whatever you want. I'll just name it Cloud Slides. Then we can select our products. I have mine that I imported from AliExpress at the beginning of the video, so I'll select it here. And we'll see the product photos from our Shopify product page populate here below. 
These all follow the training photo requirements listed by Atlas that we saw earlier. So I'll select all four of these photos here. If you have additional photos of your product that you want to train your model with, go ahead and upload those here as well. Like I mentioned earlier, I'll be going with the 30 minute training for this video, but I do recommend going with the three hour training if you want the best results. Now, once you're ready, go ahead and click on start training your model. From there, you'll be brought to this page and you'll see that your training status will say processing. Once it's done, it'll say succeeded like it does for me on my page here. And to begin generating AI product photos, click on the actions button on the right hand side. Now here is where you can create your prompt when generating your photos. You could go ahead and write out the whole prompt by yourself, but I recommend clicking on the use AI suggested prompt button here at the top to have most of the work done for you. And also when you use this button, it actually makes the results of your photos a lot better in my opinion. Here we can click on the use this prompt button and we'll see the prompt populate here. You have to provide the AI with a ton of detail. Everything from the design of the product, the color, the background, the lighting, and the environment that the product is in. It can be difficult to write all of this by yourself, and that's why this button exists here in the top right. If you want to change something within the prompt, you're free to do so simply by highlighting the text and altering it yourself. I'm happy with this prompt, so I'll scroll down and click on Generate Now. I'll click on it again to confirm. And scrolling down, we'll see our product photos generating here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and give these guys a second to generate. And there we go. Just like that, we have super high quality product photos to choose from. I really like how these turned out and I think I'll go with this one and this one. Now to begin the process of uploading these product photos to our product page, select the ones that you want and then click on save selected images. From there, you can now click on the saved images tab here and you'll see those product photos appear in the bottom. Select the photos that you want, and then we'll scroll down and click on Download Selected. Doing this will save the product photos to your device so you can upload them to your Shopify product page. Now let's click on Products on the left-hand side here. Then we'll click into our product. Now let's scroll down and upload our product photos here. Click on the plus icon, click on Add Media, and I'll upload the two product photos that I saved a second ago. Let's go ahead and upload those here. And then I'll click on done. And now you can repeat this exact same process to generate even more product photos, giving your store a full gallery with a clean, consistent, and professional look. Now I've gone ahead and repeated the exact same process to generate even more high quality product photos, which again is going to give my store this nice, clean, professional look. Doing this will really help drive more sales to your store. Now that I'm done, I'll go back to my online store here on the left hand side. Now we have a great looking store, but to maximize profits, there is another easy thing we can do, which is adding product bundles. Using this tool I'm about to show you the right way can take your store from struggling to being highly profitable. To get started, click on the Atlas app again on the left hand side. Then click on Bundle Deals. Let's click on Create Bundle on the right hand side to create our first bundle. Let's start by giving our bundle a name and just like before, our customers aren't going to see this. Then we can configure our bundle's title and you'll see if I edit this, it will update in real time here on the right hand side. We can change our Add to Cart button text. We can choose which products that this bundle will target. Right now it's set to all products, but we could choose a specific collection or a specific product. We can choose if we want to display variant images and configure the size and radius. And lastly, we can configure our pricing display between price per item and compare price. Now, before configuring our offers here below, let's take a look at them on the right hand side. As you can see, our first offer is a buy one at its regular price, meaning we're offering no discount. But within our second offer, if our customer buys two of our product, they'll get 10% off. And then in our third offer, if they buy three, they'll get 20% off. When using the product bundler, the goal is to increase your average order value. By offering a bulk discount, you can sell more products while keeping your shipping costs the same. I'm happy with the default offers listed here, but if you want to configure the discount types even further, just click into an offer below here and you're able to customize everything within it. 
You can configure your title and subtitle, the inside and outside of badge, and most importantly, the discount type. If I click in here, we can choose a regular price, fixed amount, percentage, specific price, and a buy one, get one free deal. This gives you a ton of control over your product bundles. Once you're happy with the bundle offer that you've created, let's scroll up and click on the design tab here. Here you can change some of the colors within your bundle offer. And once you're done customizing, let's click on publish here to publish our bundle offer. Here you'll see that it was successful and that we did create the bundle offer, but there is one more thing I need to show you before it appears on your store properly. Let's click on take me to my store here at the bottom. And then we'll click on customize on our Atlas theme. Let's navigate back to our product page at the top here, just like before. Then if I scroll down, you'll see that our product bundler doesn't actually appear on our product page. To fix this, let's click on the plus icon here, and then we'll type in Atlas. Let's click on apps and then add in the Atlas bundler here. And once I click on this here, you'll see on my product page that the bundle offer will appear successfully. And since we're not using the other add to cart button, let's go ahead and remove it so that way we don't confuse our customer. Once you're done configuring your bundle offer on your product page, let's make sure we save in the top right. And then we'll exit out of our theme editor here on the left hand side. So rather than selling a single product, what if you want to sell multiple products on the same store? I'll show you how to do this surprisingly easily. First, let's navigate back to the Atlas app here on the left-hand side, and then let's click on product pages. Here we can generate a product page for an existing Atlas theme. Here you'll see the theme that we generated earlier on in the video. Since I wanna generate a new product page for this store, I'll select it and then click on generate product page. And now, just like we did at the beginning of the video, we can choose our product source, paste in a link, and generate a new product page. This makes it super easy to sell multiple products within a single store. And that's it. You now have a fully functional and customized Shopify store that's ready to take orders. What would have taken hours before can now be done in minutes with Atlas. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments. And thanks for watching this video.